Since it was first launched here in the Philippines, the Expander has been a consistent sales driver for Mitsubishi year in and year out. That's why when the car maker launched the refreshed model in Indonesia towards the end of 2021, we were certain a lot of Filipinos would be looking forward to its arrival here. Luckily for you guys, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines wasted no time bringing this new model in. Today, we're here at South Lake Village in Eton City, Santa Rosa, and we have the chance to spend a few hours with this new model. We're going to see how it drives, just exactly how it differs with the old model. Are you excited? Let's go check it out. I remember when I saw the Expander for the first time. I just couldn't help but stare at its face. I'm gonna be honest, I really had issues with the look at first. But that was probably because Mitsubishi's dynamic shield design was very new to me back then. Eventually, the look grew on me. And now with this refreshed model, I also thought I'd take some time to get used to all this, but seeing it right now, this looks pretty good. Now, uh, it's not that drastic of a redesign. I like what Mitsubishi has done with these T-shaped headlights. Let's take a look at it. Doesn't it look pretty good? And this black plastic trim, the new radiator grill, and the rework bumper, they all add a lot more character to the front end. Now, moving on to the back, there aren't a lot of changes here, but you do get new taillights. I haven't seen this at night yet, but I believe it's gonna have a la nice light signature that matches the headlights quite well. The rear overhang is also supposed to be 45 millimeters longer, so if you're familiar with the old model, you're gonna notice some slight difference in this part. Now, speaking of size, the new expander is also significantly longer and a bit taller than the old one. This now measures 4,595 millimeters long, 1,750 millimeters tall, and will it last? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Width and wheel base are still the same, but ground clearance is now up to 225 millimeters, or equivalent to that of the Expander Cross. Those new standard 17-inch wheels might have something to do with that. As far as the interior goes, this is a huge upgrade. Mitsubishi has added a lot of soft touch materials on the dash. You've got some leather here, on the center console, and even the door panels. The steering wheel has a nice touch to it, and the new seat design looks pretty good. It's soft and it's comfy, though there are parts that I wish they could have done better with, like the fake carbon fiber on the armrests and this flat plastic here. Looks like it has texture, but when you touch it, it's just flat plastic. For the most part, it now feels a lot more modern and especially with the addition of new features here like the digital AC controls, the electronic parking brake, and of course, this seven inch infotainment system that's hard to miss. It's still small, it's still not the best in its class, but finally it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's a huge bonus. And this one comes standard across the range too, so you can get this with the base manual variant of the expander. Now, what else do we have here? We still have the compartments here, the small cubbies here, you still got storage here. You do have new charging ports at the back and two cup holders in the second row. As for the interior space, it's still as roomy as before. Nothing's really changed. So you'd still be able to fit seven people inside this cabin. This is still the same Mitsubishi Expander that Filipinos have grown to love over the years. Only it's got the new styling, the new improved interior, the added tech, and supposedly the improved ride. At its core, it's still got the same fuel-efficient engine, it's still got the same interior that can fit seven people, but is it still the value for money offering in Mitsubishi Motors Philippines lineup? Right now, we don't have the prices yet, but by the time you're watching this, we should already have the promo prices, so we're going to flash them here or somewhere down below. And 
Once the final prices do come out, we're gonna put them in the description box below, so check that out. But we've been told that if there was gonna be a, a price increase, it won't be that big, so we won't be surprised if this new expander will still continue to sell well in our market. Anyway, that wraps it up for us today. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on social media. It's at Top Gear PH on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on TikTok. For Top Gear Philippines, this has been Leander Gresha, and I'll see you in the next one.